Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Bandai Sophie weird thing Pacific Rim Uprising Ryzen Kaiju figure, which is basically just the first of their vinyl series of Kaiju because they're too big to make like regular action figures without costing a fortune. The question is, is it something you want to buy? I, I could definitely see why people would want to have the Kaiju with their, with their, what are they called, Jaegers. Uh, are they still called Jaegers? I don't know, I haven't seen the movie yet. But uh, are people going to want these, since they have almost no POA, and uh, they're, they're basically just little vinyl statues. So we'll see, but um, maybe you will, maybe you won't. You'll know by the end of this video. So let's go ahead and get this guy off the stand, so we can take a closer look. Now, this guy stands just about 8.5 inches tall, which makes him just about, let's say, just shy of 21 centimeters. So you're thinking probably that's not so tall, but he is very bulky, very broad. And then, of course, very long. That's what she said. So he's, he's over 12 inches long, including his tail. Very large overall. But it is mostly hollow. And there is almost no POA. You can move the legs a little bit. Like, watch this. That's it. Basically just enough to get him on a surface. And then you can move the arms up and down. And that's it. There's nothing else to this guy. It's, it's an incredibly basic figure. So, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it doesn't really matter. It depends what you want to buy. Uh, me, personally, I'm not into this sort of thing, but if I was buying the, the what are they called? I keep forgetting, Jaegers, goodness gracious. I keep wanting to call them Gypsy Dangers, but that's definitely wrong. Anyway, if I was buying all of those, which they happen to send me, uh, Bluefin sent me them so I could review them for you guys, then I would want to get these, and this is 40 bucks. Is it worth 40 bucks? Uh, eh, I don't know. I don't, it's hard to say. It, it's got some paint on it. There's like dry brushing throughout most of it to make these harder plates have some detail. They do have this nice metallic blue paintwork to make it look like that glowing blue that they have. So, I mean, that's there. It's nice enough. It's on the face too. You can see it. It's in the mouth. It's in the eyes. It's very cool looking. But other than the red for the face, uh, it's pretty much just dry brushing of this tan color and then tan for the teeth. And then that blue. So it's, well, I guess there's a little bit of dark glossiness for the claws. So it is super basic. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's really pushing the limit for the price point, honestly. Because I get that it's big. But I don't know if there's enough here to warrant the $40 price point. Uh, that seems a bit steep. But it's kind of a big figure. I, Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe there's technically a POA at the wrist. But you can't move it, really. So... I don't know, guys. I, I'm torn. Uh, maybe it's because I'm not into this lower-end line, really, at all. Because, to me, I, I'd rather just collect nicer stuff if I have the option. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have that option right now. So, I guess a lot of people are into this this Robot Damashi line of Pacific Rim figures. So, maybe this is fine for those people. It, like, 40 bucks clearly isn't a lot of money. So, it's not like you're getting totally ripped off or anything. I just think for 40 bucks, maybe a little bit better... A little bit better... Um, Articulation probably would have been warranted, but he is pretty big. So let me set him down so you can see um, how he'll look up against one of the. Uh, oh my! I'm, I almost called him kaiju's. I just I'm done. I am done today. There's Gypsy. So he like Gypsy's tiny compared to him. So you can see the size difference. I mean, height wise, obviously there's not that much difference, but in terms of plastic alone, this guy's got like five times as much. Maybe I don't know. So I could definitely see the appeal. For me, it's not really there, but that doesn't mean it's not for anyone else. So at least now you know. You have an idea of what you're getting if you want to pick one of these up. Super basic. Definitely not meant for like top-end collectors, people who are super serious about high articulation and things like that. But if you just want to fill a spot for a kaiju in your collection to go up against these guys, it'll get the job done. Is it a little overpriced? Maybe. But it's not terrible. It's only 40 bucks anyway. So it's not the biggest deal in the world. So uh, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.